Okay, self-funding, I think, is the holy grail. This is the place that we need to get to. We have always in the past, we pay premium dollars on assumptions that the insurance company believes that our, our group is going to have in their medical needs. And those assumptions are always in the favor of the insurance company. And they're always high. And every year our renewals come in, and they're higher and higher, and, and we just don't like them. And the question gets asked, I don't believe our group is having these health issues. Self-funding allows us to capture this information on a monthly basis, year after year, so we can actually understand the true medical needs and expenses that our employees have for their medical conditions that they have. And with that, we can start to measure, we can start to manage, we can start to control, we can start to incentivize. There are so many tools that we can bring to the table under a self-funded program that gives us information that we don't get in the past. So in this day and age, healthcare reform and that a system that is tough on us on a price is that when we can understand the actual costs that our people have, then every year when we have renewals, this thing doesn't come up which says, I'm unhappy with the premium, is it going to be a surprise? It's not a surprise. And if you're unhappy, because we're unhappy with the cost that we have to pay, and now the question gets to be, what can we do about it? And finally, there's answers, we, things that we can do, things that we can address, things that if you as an employer allow us to work with you and your people, we can start to address these costs so we can level them off, we can start to measure them, and in the future we can control them for a much level of cost going down the line.